Hi everyone, today we are going to do an anchor made out of Jenga blocks. We're going to use the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. And as always, we're going to use the Well Bond. I do not ever suggest using um, hot glue for any of the crafts I make with the Jenga blocks unless it's just gluing a piece or two on. Well Bond is my go-to. Now you can buy that at Lowe's, Rona, Home Depot, Michael's, Amazon. I don't suggest online. All right, so I start, I'm going to start at the bottom. I did glue some pieces together so we doesn't take, uh, doesn't make it a long video. So this is the bottom shape. I am going to do an upright on a board anchor. So I'm going to start with the bottom. So the bottom starts with, and all the jangle blocks that we're going to do in this uh, for the anchor are going to be lengthwise, not upright. So we're going to start off with the bottom and the bottom is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now the sides are on each side is on four, four, four blocks, or sorry, four rows of three. And you're gonna do that on the other side. Now you can see the angle that I'm putting it on. Now you could make it with two and one, but you want stability. So I just find that having it with just the three as the base would be good enough. Even the two, I don't know. I just rather have a really good stable um, thing so that I just left it at three and you do the exact same on the other side the four rows of three now the middle part is 18 rows of three going one two three and then 18 down I'm just gonna switch it this way you're gonna stick it right in the middle between both the sides we're gonna add something here when I'm, I'm just gonna move this down a bit. So then we're gonna do the, um, the neck part, if you wanna call it that. We're gonna do three rows of seven and attach it there. Then we're gonna do just one row of four. Now I made a circle, well, it's kind of, kind of moved a bit when I was shifting, but all I did was just do gluing them on an angle. Now, I think you've probably seen there's been a bunch of them that make bowls and stuff like that of Jenga blocks. I just glued them on an angle and I actually did it around here. But as you can see, when I moved it, it uh, doesn't fit over there now, but I'm totally fine with that. So that doesn't bother me because I'm going to have a rope around it, I think. And we're just going to put it and it's pretty sturdy. As you can see, it is once you have it, even though they're not glued, I could have did probably a little bit better, but I'm OK with it. So usually one of the sides, actually two of the sides actually have and that side looks a little bit more lopsided, but you have it a little bit closer together. And this circle has 12 blocks in it. Now it all depends what you want to do. Now, if you don't want to attempt this, um, I do have another alternative that you can use. Uh, I just had these hair rollers. I bought them for something else. I'm not going to say because it's for a future project, but these are not from DT. They are actually from Dollarama. And they're just little hair rollers. You know the ones you stick in your hair that I bought, and I don't know why, because my hair is already curly. But the ones from Dollarama, now you could maybe have other ones. Now these ones just have a little hook on each side. I'm just going to show you. You take both hooks off each side, well not hooks, but you take the little white part off. And then you can just connect them together. And even though they don't join, um, just because of the the width being the side of the anchor, you could do two of these, and I'm not going to even attempt to hook this one. And I would just use something. Let's see here. I'm just using this so it could round it more because when you're bending it, so just finding something that can fit in the circle that'll make it a nice round. Don't worry about that. Then you want two of those. 
So what you do is if these ones have the hooks, now if they don't, you could always tape them and then just make a nice round part on it. Put two together and just wrap it with some jute rope. Now with this spot here, what you could do is you could just for the filler and when you're wrapping the jute rope, you could stick some hot glue in between there. You could start wrapping with the jute rope there and just keep wrapping it around till it gets thicker and then just glue it all the way around like you would do for a reef. And you could just use that part as a top if you don't want to attempt that. Now, we're going to do the sides. Now, the bottom sides here. Now, it kind of looks okay like that, but I wanted something, you know, how the, the anchor has more of a, a pointy tips on it. So, on the sides here, uh, I just made like pyramids for each side and you're going to start with a row of four, three, two, one, and they're all going to be like evenly like a, like a diamond and you're just going to glue it evenly over top. So there's a tip and there's a tip. Now I'm going to glue all this together. Once this is solid and glued properly, and you want to line up the blocks too, like to make sure they're even. So two blocks on this side, for example. Now you could alter it, make it a little bit smaller. Now this is the one. So with this design, including the circle, is 187 blocks. So it's just over, um, just over two bo two boxes of Jenga. The um, counts of 72. So you might have the smaller ones. I think there's 40 something in there, but just using the bigger blocks. So once I do that, I am gonna file some of the edges. Um, I use a hand drill that I have from Jamel. If you don't have that, you can always grab one of these file. If you've seen some of my Jenga block animals that I've filed sides and edges, um, this is just a, D a DT coarse nail board. And just to give it a, you know, I guess what do you want to call it like more of a smoother finish on the sides so i'm going to get this glued together i'm going to let it sit i'm going to file it and then once i do that i'm going to come back and i was going to show you the stain but i don't know if i'm doing stain yet so i'm, I'm going to ponder that thought what color i want to do and we'll come back all right so off camera I did the gel stain. I used a dark walnut. It's just from um, my local store, some Rona or Lowe's. Um, I mean, you can use brown paint. It's really up to you. I wanted to give it that rustic effect. Um, my little circle's a little bit off. I'm gonna leave it as is because it is solid. You could put hot glue in between the cracks to make it a little bit more solid. Maybe if you're gonna paint, use a paint, but the stain's not gonna really go over the hot glue so i'm just gonna leave it like that now the next thing depending on what you want to do i just grabbed um it's the jute rope from the dollar tree it's the little bit um thicker one it's um 9.5 feet long 2.8 meters i'm just gonna grab it through I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm just gonna stick this piece under there. That's something from something else. So I'm gonna stick it around twice, but I'm gonna do it where it's halfway in between the rope. So you can't see it off camera, but I'm doing it to the ends fitted there. Then I'm gonna wrap it one more time. Now all depends, maybe you don't wanna put uh, a rope on it. I did dig out, I had this from Halloween's. Where is it? I had these chains that I thought would be cool. I don't really, I don't know. I changed my mind on it. I thought it would be cool, but I'm just going to do the jute rope. I really like the, the rustic look with the jute rope on it. So once I get it right here, I don't know why it's flipped over. There we go. I'm gonna bring it through again. Okay. All 
not really good at tying this stuff on here. Okay, so once I have that, now you're just gonna have the, you're gonna tie it in a knot. That'd be a long knot. Oh, it's already getting stuck. <laughs> I am gonna glue these two together. I'm just gonna use some hot glue. I'm just gonna glue it together like it's a rope. Something like that. Then I'm just gonna twist it. I'm just gonna move it this way. I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna use some of these little clips from Dollar Tree to hold it. And you're just gonna keep wrapping it around. I'm just going to use the one. Keep wrapping it around. Now you might have a better idea um, that you want to do. I just wanted to have a, tw a twisty look like that. So the only reason why I'm going to do the clip, I'm going to braid it all the way, well not braid it, but twist it all the way down and then I'm just going to clip it on the end so it doesn't move. And it's just gonna look like this. It's not gonna be anything special looking like that, but I'm gonna go through. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do as fast as I can. And now depending on the placement, now I am putting it on a board, but I'm just gonna, here I'll show you. So I'm gonna kind of do it where this is glued. I think maybe going like this, I'm gonna wrap it. now. All, like I said, depends on how you want to do it. There we go. I'm just going to clip it here. Now I'm going to do it right to the back. I'm just going to hot glue it in spots so it does not move. This is going to be right like that, like it's a ring and then the knot and then all the way around. Now the placement on the board, now I am gonna do it on the board and I used one for the tree of life, the free Jenga block free of life that I did. So mine are just from Dollar or Dollarama. Now I know a couple crafters has commented in a couple groups, I believe it was Hobby Lobby and have little artists, um, panels that you could use. Uh, you can also make one out of Jenga blocks, but I'm gonna just use one of these little panels that I have. So when I do it on the placement on the board, so pretend this is on, because you're gonna wanna do this first. You might wanna just clip it though. Now, you can either put it on the board straight up or you can put it on on an angle and this is how I want it I, I have a vision how I want it so I want it on an angle now I'm gonna switch the camera so I can show you what I'll, how we'll uh, put it on the board on an angle so now that I switch the angles I'm gonna put the board upright like this not like this if you don't want it upright like that, now I'm gonna put something behind it on one side. If you wanna put it on an angle like this, which I'm gonna do, we're gonna add three Jenga blocks to the count that I've already spoke of earlier. We're just gonna stack two blocks like this and it's gonna be on the third step, I believe. I'm gonna glue those down gonna be like like this and then you're gonna stick another block I'm just gonna pull this I guess it's hard. and you're gonna put it right underneath that one for extra support so it doesn't bounce back and we are just gonna use I wouldn't suggest hot glue I would suggest using well bond so it sits on an angle like that now, before you place it down, it depends on what you want to do. If you just want to have that's your centerpiece or if you want to add extra, 
So I'm gonna add something extra. So I'm gonna move mine a little bit front, more to the front of the board. Now I'm gonna leave it right there. Now I'm gonna get one of these floral forms from DT. They come in this little like cupcake kind of thing. And I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna stick it right in the back right there. Now I'm going to add some green. So my, my vision, I guess, is seeing the anchor at the bottom of the ocean river. Um, that was kind of the angle I was going for, <clears throat> excuse me. And my local dollar round, which is another dollar store here in Canada had some of these greens that I really like now. Oops, sorry for kicking the camera. If you don't like those, you can actually buy, I'm just moving around here. Dollar Tree has recently come out with some uh, green picks is what they call them. And you could actually try using, if you wanted to try using some of these, they come in a pack of five. Now I've decided to go with these ones. I did cut them down from the ones I just showed you only because I like the darker part of the green and the vision, I guess. Because I'm showing you this part a little bit ahead only for the fact is because you're going to want to find out where you want your um, where you want to put the placement of your anchor. Now, if you don't want to add the green, maybe you have your own little vision that, you know, that you have something maybe for it would be a great actually a, a Father's Day gift. My dad likes to boat and stuff like that. So on fish and stuff. So then I know. Sorry, guys, I'm doing it on an angle so you guys can see. Then you're just going to lop them in there. Oh. Now, they're probably not looking the best right now because I'm on an angle trying to put these in. And I'm going to put them in further. Whoop. Oh, that's why. Got to glue it down first. This would help if I'm just... Oh, it looks a little bit odd. I think my anchor needs to go that way and I'm not gonna adjust it on the camera. So that's what you need to figure out before you, you decide to put, glue your anchor down. So I'm gonna just play with it off camera, find my situation, glue it down. I am gonna glue these down, this down with some the green in it properly placed. And then I'm just gonna finish wrapping this rope on and I'm just gonna go around to the back and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just going to show this. I did have another crafter comment on one of my other tutorials about the anchor that I did for my, it was just some, um, I didn't do a tutorial. I made the Jenga block boat stand last year and she asked me if I could show her um, the wine cork uh, anchor and I just thought it was kind of funny because I was kind of in the middle of the tutorial while she asked me this question. So I am giving out a shout out to Kathy Upshire. Hope I'm saying your last name right, Kathy. And thank you for commenting. I know you commented on a lot of my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for all the love. Um, so I'm not going to show you the tutorial, but I did collect some in uh, in a group in my area and I was able to collect a bunch. I don't drink wine, but I was looking for used wine corks and I just kind of looked at a picture of an anchor and just did the design like this, Kathy. Now, Kathy, I used at the time when I did this, I did use hot glue. It did not work well because it is kind of heavy and it did snap. So I just used some well bond glue and it actually was fine. I didn't redo it or anything like that. And just a piece of jute rope. There was 84 uh, wine corks all together. Um, you could screenshot this for the design if that's how you want to do, but there was really not much to it other than the fact that I use hot glue at the time and that I really didn't, um, I didn't really, it didn't work well. So, and then you could just hang it from the back. I know I can't show you that upwards, but you can hang it up in the back on the wall. Um, you can paint it. Maybe you can do the brown with the cinnamon effect that a lot of people have been doing lately, or you can leave it as is. So... If you have any more questions, Kathy, by all means, ask me, uh, take a screenshot, or you can reach out to me on my other social media platforms, and I'd be happy to send you a picture. All right, so now that I have everything glued on, I just wanted to bring the camera on a different angle and show you. So I'm just going to use hot glue, and as you can see already that I've been putting it in the spots in little cracks near the bottom, and... 
Okay, now I'm out of that. Hold on. Um, I want to make it look like it's sitting in sand. So you can see I already built some up over here and I keep doing a few layers and then I just let it dry and it's kind of on an angle. So it just looks like the anchors in the sand. So I just keep doing it along the bottom so it doesn't look as squarish on the bottom. And it actually has, um, it also is help holding the anchor there as well, even though we put some well bond glue um, or you could use Gorilla Glue. And I just keep building it up. I don't have a fancy, I just use a dollar store. And I just got it, this one went straight down here. So I want to put it more of an angle. So I'll keep doing that all the way around. And then once you put them, we're good. Then the next step after putting it all along here, we're just gonna take some, just some regular Mod Podge. You can get this at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use this sand that I have from Dollarama. I just like it just a little bit darker and it has a little bit of a sparkle to it. But Dollar Tree also has a bag of sand as well and they have different colors. Now you don't have to do the tan like, like I'm doing. Even the anchor you can switch up, you know, you all have your certain ideas what you're looking for in colors. Um, but I'm gonna use the one that I got from Dollarama just because I like the little bit of sparkle in it. So I'm just gonna do a couple layers. So once I finish the putting all the rest of the glue all the way around and making it look like it's sitting in a sand hole, I guess you can kind of say that it's stuck in the sand. I'm gonna let it dry good. I'm gonna paint it on like paint, the Mod Podge, and then I'm just gonna start putting some layers of sand. I'm thinking that also while I'm with the glue, while I have the glue gun on, I might do some like rings just kind of around the side that will actually show kind of like, um, you know, like the tide, you could put like squiggly lines, um, just to show a little bit rift that it's just not totally uh, flat. And the green part where the green is on the side, once we get the sand done, then we'll move on to that part. So while I'm letting the Mod Podge in the sand, I'm on my second coat, I'm gonna do three coats. Um, I'm going to show you there's a little I wanted to put a starfish on there and I didn't want to use the big ones here not the big ones but you know what I wanted to make some small ones so I did this one same idea with the bottom of the of the craft that we're doing now and I just grabbed some of the nautical pins from DT and I pulled the clothes pin off and I just painted it with the um, Mod Podge in the sand. So I am gonna put this on the anchor. Now, in the greenery, I wanted to have like a, uh, I don't know, what do they call it? School of Fish. So I don't have the, it's the same um, package from DT, the DYI pins, and it came in fish. Now, I'm not the, I don't know, I just, I can't decide on a color, so I decided I'm just gonna put a clear, the clear gloss Mod Podge. Now you can do whatever color you want. Now this, they are a little bit tricky. Don't laugh, but my pliers are really old and I just haven't bought new ones. This part getting off is, of course it's not, it's the first time it's tricky here, okay. Got that off. Now the bottom part is like, I don't know what kind of glue and because the fish are just, it's really thin wood, I don't want to break them, but I managed to get them off, but look what, they pull right off. You're not going to see the back of the fish anyways. I'm not going to sit here and fight on the screen because I'm going to try to take my time to get them off. Oh, see, I just broke it. Darn, darn, darn. I'm going to fix them back up. Poor little fishy. I'm going to fix them up. It's going to be back. All right, I'm going to do that off screen. But what did I want to show you was, so these ones are from, I'm sure they're from Dollar, yeah, they're from Dollarama. They're just bamboo sticks. So in the greenery, and I'm, it's drying in the kitchen, I'm just going to show you. So in the greenery, now depending on what greenery, I just used a combination of two different paints and I didn't do anything special. I cut them down. I kind of wanted to have the, 
them uh, a little bit like one shorter than the other. So I just cut the bamboo sticks down on, not that I'm gonna put them like that in the, on the, when I put them in the greenery, but I just cut them at different lengths. So when you put your fish on, I can't believe I just broke that fish. So they would be at different lengths. I mean, you can make that one higher. <laughs> okay. Um, but I just like basically didn't even just color here, color there, and I just went over. So when you put them, put them in with the greenery, it blends right in. Now, like I said, I was gonna just do the Mod Podge with the gloss, and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of jute rope. I think would just be cute. I don't know why, but just a little bit of jute rope and just leave it like this. And I'm gonna do three of those. Now, if you don't wanna do fish, they also had, and I just pulled one off, and I was gonna do, um, they also came with these ones as well. They came with the with the seahorses. So if you don't like the fish, you could do the seahorses. I mean, it all the pre preference depends on what you want. They also had sorry, I like I bought half the store as always. You know, you always buy. I bought all this stuff before not knowing what I was going to do with them, and you know, you keep them. And okay, those were the small ones. Let's see what I bought. And they also have the whales, so that's another option you can do. And when I was off camera, I was thinking too, I did forget to mention on the anchor itself, you could also do the cinnamon effect. So if you don't have stain and you just wanna use the DT paint and use cinnamon um, with Mod Podge, that's an option too, to make it look more rustic. I just thought with the Jenga blocks and the, the wood stain, it looked good, but that's another option. So you don't have to buy stain if you don't want to. So I'm gonna try to put my, my fishy back together and then I'll come back and we will place these and I will show you there's just a couple little things on the bottom and then we're done. So I haven't put the fish in yet. Um, I did a little bit layers on the bottom that I just thought it gives it more of a bumpy look. I did three coats with the Mod Podge and sand. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the foam in the back I haven't placed the fish in yet, but I'm gonna cover the, um, the foam in the back with some just some reindeer moss. You could use rocks, there's different little things you could do, but I think I'm just gonna use reindeer moss just to stick it out a bit. I did put in the little cracks up here, I just put some uh, reindeer moss where, where the Jenga, and I obviously just missed a little spot there. But let me come back and I will show you the final product with the fish in it and the reindeer moss. All right, so the anchor is done. So I put the little fish with some jute rope just on the end, like I said, and put the little skewers, which blended nicely with the greenery, added the little starfish to the side. Now you can see some of the spots that I did put the reindeer moss that just hides if there's any little glue that when you're gluing around, you can just hide it with some reindeer moss. And the side of it, I just built it all the way around using some hot glue and just some DT shells. Now you can see the little tiny ones actually come in a little glass jar from DT and then they come in a bigger plastic bag that have different assorted ones. And I just use hot glue as well for that. Now, I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed and you like what you see, please do. Make sure to turn on the notification bell and it will notify you when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting. Bye.